The urinal ion is an oxycation of uranium in the oxidation state plus 6, with the chemical formula UO2, 2 plus. It has a linear structure with short UO bonds, indicative of the presence of multiple bonds between uranium and oxygen. Four or more ligands may be bound to the urinal ion in an equatorial plane. The urinal ion forms many complexes, particularly with ligands that have oxygen donor atoms. Complexes of the urinal ion are important in the extraction of uranium from its source and in nuclear fuel reprocessing, structure and bonding. The urinal ion is linear and symmetrical, with both UO bond lengths of about 180 pm. The bond lengths are indicative of the presence of multiple bonding between the uranium and oxygen atoms. Since uranium has the electronic configuration, radon, the electrons used in forming the UO bonds are supplied by the oxygen atoms. The electrons are donated into empty atomic orbitals on the uranium atom. The empty orbitals of lowest energy are 7s, 5f and 6d. In terms of valence bond theory the sigma bonds may be formed using and to construct sd, sf and df hybrid orbitals and may be used to form pi bonds. Since the pair of d or f orbitals used in bonding are doubly degenerate this equates to an overall bond order of 3. The urinal ion is always associated with other ligands. The most common arrangement is for the so-called equatorial ligands to lie in a plane perpendicular to the OUO line and passing through the uranium atom, with four ligands, as in UO2Cl4-2- The uranium has a distorted octahedral environment. In many cases there are more than four equatorial ligands. The presence of the equatorial ligands lowers the symmetry of the urinal ion from point group D infinity H for the isolated ion to, for example, D4H in a distorted octahedral complex. This permits the involvement of D and F orbitals other than those used in UO bonds. In urinal fluoride, UO2F2, the uranium atom achieves a coordination number of 8 by forming a layer structure with two oxygen atoms in a urinal configuration and six fluoride ions bridging between urinal groups. A similar structure is found in alpha-uranium trioxide, with oxygen in place of fluoride, except that in that case the layers are connected by sharing oxygen atom from urinal groups, which are identified by having relatively short UO distances. A similar structure occurs in some urinates, such as calcium urinate, CaUO4, which may be written as Cow2 even though the structure does not contain isolated urinal groups. Spectroscopy The color of urinal compounds is due to LMCT charge transfer transitions at California. 420 nanometers, on the blue edge of the visible spectrum. The exact location of the absorption band in any XAFS bands depends on the nature of the equatorial ligands. Compounds containing the urinal ion are usually yellow, though some compounds are red, orange or green. Urinal compounds also exhibit luminescence. The first study of the green luminescence of uranium glass by Brewster in 1849 began extensive studies of the spectroscopy of the urinal ion. Detailed understanding of this spectrum was obtained 130 years later. It is now well established that the urinal luminescence is more specifically a phosphorescence as it is due to a transition from the lowest triplet excited state to the singlet ground state. The luminescence from K2UO22 was involved in the discovery of radioactivity. The urinal ion has characteristic new UO stretching vibrations at California, 880 cm-1 and 950 cm-1. These frequencies depend somewhat on which ligands are present in the equatorial plane. Correlations are available between the stretching frequency and UO bond length. It has also been observed that the stretching frequency correlates with the position of the equatorial ligands in the spectrochemical series. Aqueous chemistry 
The urinal ion can be viewed as the end result of extensive hydrolysis of the highly charged, hypothetical, U6 plus cation, UN, 6 plus, UO24, 2 plus plus 4H plus plus N4H2O. The driving force for this hypothetical reaction is the reduction in charge density on the uranium atom. The number of water molecules attached to the urinal ion in aqueous solution is mostly 5. Further hydrolysis occurs, with a further reduction in charge density when one or more equatorial water molecules is replaced by an hydroxide ion. In fact the aqueous urinal ion is a weak acid. UO24, 2 plus, UO23, plus plus H plus, pKa equals California. 4.2 as pH increases polymeric species with stoichiometry, 22, 2 plus and 35 plus are formed before the hydroxide UO22 precipitates. The hydroxide dissolves in strongly alkaline solution to give hydroxo complexes of the urinal ion. The urinal ion can be reduced by mild reducing agents, such as zinc metal, to the oxidation state plus 4. Reduction to uranium can be done using a Jones reductor. Complexes The urinal ion behaves as a hard acceptor and forms weaker complexes with nitrogen donor ligands than with fluoride and oxygen donor ligands such as hydroxide, carbonate, nitrate, sulfate and carboxylate. There may be four, five or six donor atoms in the equatorial plane. In urinal nitrate, UO22, 2H2O, for example, there are six donor atoms in the equatorial plane, four from bidentate nitrate O ligands and two from water molecules. The structure is described as hexagonal bipyramidal. Other oxygen donor ligands include phosphine oxides and phosphate esters. Urinal nitrate, UO22, can be extracted from aqueous solution into diethyl ether. The complex that is extracted has two nitrate O ligands bound to the urinal ion, making a complex with no electrical charge and also the water molecules are replaced by ether molecules giving the whole complex notable hydrophobic character. Electron neutrality is the most important factor in making the complex soluble in organic solvents. The nitrate ion forms much stronger complexes with the urinal ion than it does with transition metal and lanthanide ions. For this reason only urinal and other actinal ions, including the plutonyl ion, PuO22+, can be extracted from mixtures containing other ions, replacing the water molecules that are bound to the urinal ion in aqueous solution by a second, hydrophobic. Ligand increases the solubility of the neutral complex in the organic solvent. This has been called a synergic effect. The complexes formed by the urinal ion in aqueous solution are of major importance both in the extraction of uranium from its source and in nuclear fuel reprocessing. In industrial processes urinal nitrate is extracted with tributyl phosphate, 3PO, TBP as the preferred second ligand, and kerosene the preferred organic solvent. Later in the process, uranium is stripped from the organic solvent by treating it with strong nitric acid, which forms complexes such as UO24, 2 minus which are more soluble in the aqueous phase. Urinal nitrate is recovered by evaporating the solution. Minerals The urinal ion occurs in minerals derived from uranium or deposits by water-rock interactions that occur in uranium-rich mineral seams. Tiouyamunite 2V2088H2O, or tunite 228-12H2O, torbernity 28-12H2O, and uranophane 2 California 23H2O, are examples of urinal containing minerals. These minerals are of little commercial value as most uranium is extracted from pitch blend. Uses Urinal salts are used to stain samples for electron and electromagnetic microscopy studies of DNA. Health and environmental issues. Urinal salts are toxic and can cause severe renal insufficiency and acute tubular necrosis. Target organs include the kidneys, liver, lungs and brain. 
Urinal ion accumulation in tissues including gonocytes produces congenital disorders, and in white blood cells causes immune system damage. Urinal compounds are also neurotoxins. Urinal ion contamination has been found on and around depleted uranium targets. All uranium compounds are radioactive. However, uranium is usually in depleted form, except in the context of the nuclear industry. Depleted uranium consists mainly of 238U which decays by alpha decay with a half-life of 4.468 times 109Y, even if the uranium contain 235U which decays with a similar half-life of about 7038 times 108Y. Both of them would still be regarded as weak alpha emitters and their radioactivity is only hazardous with direct contact or ingestion.